हेलो क्लास सिक्स दिस इज योर साइंस क्लास चैप्टर थर्ड एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक इट मीन्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फैब्रिक इन द नॉर्मल लैंग्वेज वी यूज द वर्ड क्लोथ वी वे आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोथ इन विंटर्स वी वे आर वूल एंड क्लोथ्स इन समर्स वी वे आर कॉटन क्लोथ्स समटाइम्स वेन वी गो out in any function then some of the people they wear silk clothes silk sarees and so many things are there like this so in this way at home only you can see that your home your mama your papa you and your brother sister they are having different different types of clothes so in this way easily you can do the activity of the fiber to fabric chapter so first i start this thing that every fabric is made up of very little bit very thin thread like structures and if i tell you scientifically then you can see that the fiber very thin structure fiber make yarn yarn make fabric and the fabric make cloth again i am repeating class very thin structure is fiber fiber converted into yarn and yarn converted into fabric and easily after that we can see the clothes at home different different clothes are there school uniform is there lehenga is made up of different uh, different fabric sarees are made up of different different fabrics coat pants trousers t-shirts woolen clothes so many types of fabrics are there now the question arises from where we are getting all these things actually in the science one should be there that one thing is what how it means every time questions so now i am asking to you that how the process is going on how we are getting this one from where we are getting this one these are the questions maybe these all questions are coming to your minds also actually this time you are not in the class we teachers we are also missing you class and i think so you all are missing us so now i want to tell you from where we are getting all these fibers so i will start from here fiber we are getting fiber from two different sources from the natural and from the synthetic first you should know what is the mean of the natural source natural means from the nature nature is made up of the plants animals and from us we are not giving any type of fiber but the plants and animals they are giving such type of fibers so now the first one is the natural fiber we are talking about the natural fiber it means the natural fiber which we are getting from the plants and which we are getting from the animals the second one is the synthetic fiber as the name is there class this is synthetic it means chemically we are getting this one there is no role of the animals and plants to prepare this one now we are going to do one by one each and every part of this just now i told you about the fiber fiber is of two type that is natural fiber and synthetic fiber the natural fiber when we are getting it from the plants it is from the plants when we are getting from the animals then it is from the animals now from the plants the question arises we can get the fiber from each and every plant so what will be the answer no we cannot get the fiber from each and every plant reason there are some particular plants which give us fiber now i am telling you one by one number one is cotton fiber cotton fiber you all have heard about this cotton clothes we wear these clothes in summer so first we are talking about cotton fiber so cotton fiber it means we are getting from the plants so which part of the plant is giving the cotton fiber so the answer is fruit fruit of the cotton plant give us cotton fiber now these are the process by which we can get the fiber and these process are ginning spinning and weaving 
we will discuss later what is the mean of all these process now i am telling you from where we are getting the fibers and how we are getting the fibers so first part we are doing from where we are getting the part fibers cotton fibers from the foods and the process which is taking part in it is skinning spinning and weaving from the cotton fiber the fabric is term as cotton fabric cotton fabric you all know very well the cotton fabric is very smooth the cotton fabric is very soft easy to wear we wear cotton fabric in summer season what is the reason why we wear cotton fabric in summer season because of the quality of the softness and smoothness and the very important thing class it absorbs our sweat and evaporate in the atmosphere so easily we can feel cool in summers now the second one is jute fiber you all have seen rope at your home and the foot mats these are made up of jutes gunny bags jute bags this time people are very much environment friendly we are not using any type of polythene bags we are using everything that is very much friendly for the environment and now the people are using the jute okay so jute fiber is made from the part that is stem and this one we get from the process of retting cleaning weaving and the things which we get from the jute fiber is gunny bags and jute bags just now i told you about this one this one is very coarse strong durable these are the qualities of the jute that's why we use the bag of this one they can take very heavy loads easily they can bear this one now the first one the natural fiber from plants cotton and jute we have done cotton we are getting from the fruit and jute we are getting from the stem now the second portion that is animals animals means from the prior classes earlier at home you all are listening about that mamma is wearing the silk sari at home she is going in any function you know you all have heard about the silk kurta pajama also so here we are talking about the silk from where we are getting these silk fibers we are getting these silk fibers from the silk worm the stage that is termed as cocoon from the stage of cocoon we get the silk fiber and after that it will be converted it means these fibers are very small very thin by weaving this one by knitting this one by just joining one by one all these threads we are getting the silk fabric silk fabric is very much soft and lustrous what is the mean of the lustrous it has shining the silk cloth has shining in it now the part of the silk fiber fiber has done now we are coming to the another animal that is wool fiber we all know very well from our childhood the old person ladies gents we all wear woolen clothes in winters why we wear woolen clothes why we never wear the cotton clothes in the winter the reason woolen clothes are warm soft fluffy these are the characteristics woolen from where we are getting the wool now question arises now the answer is hair of sheep goat and camel so many more examples are there but in your class these examples are there again i am repeating that is hair of sheep goat and camel and after that from the wool fiber we get the woolen clothes and just now i told you that the clothes that is made up of wool are warm fluffy and soft which we wear in the winter season the second one is synthetic fiber synthetic fiber we are getting from the chemicals chemicals and the name of the synthetic fibers which we wear these are nylon polyester acrylic 
these are strong durable what is the reason because these are man made we are making this one we are not getting the synthetic fibers from the natural fibers like the plants and animals one thing class which i want to tell you that what is the aim to keep the fiber to fabric in your class you are in sixth class you should know that you are wearing the clothes from where you are getting these clothes you are getting these clothes from the fabric and the fabric you are getting from the yarn and you are getting the yarn from the fiber that is fine and now you know very well that the fiber you are getting from the plants and animals these are the natural fibers and which the man is making that is termed as synthetic fiber so first thing we are getting from the plants and animals also these are very comfortable clear but if we are not keeping our environment safe we are not friendly with our environment so we cannot keep the plants and animals in a safe zone so if the things will not be in the safe zone so we cannot get more and more the plants and the animals fabric that is cotton fabric jute fabric silk fabric woolen and all so the main aim is this you should be the environment friendly every time we have done the part of the natural fiber and the synthetic fiber natural fiber now we are doing the differences in this way you can learn the things easily natural fiber is made from the plants as well as from the animals and the synthetic fibers are man made fibers second example there is no role of the chemicals but in the synthetic fiber chemicals are used or processed to make this one the third one natural fibers are costly but the synthetic fibers are cheap they are not costly the fourth one is natural fiber the name is natural because we get it from the plants and animals and the synthetic fiber we get it from the chemicals and man made things so these are these are the differences on the basis of these differences we can write the difference between natural and synthetic fibers now one portion we have done of this chapter that is the natural fiber and the synthetic fiber now i am coming to the cotton fiber again class actually we are talking about the plants so first i will talk about the cultivation cultivation means where in which place we are growing these fields so which type of soil is required for the cotton plants black soil is required and the atmosphere should be humid and warm so these are the condition for the cotton fiber and we get the cotton fiber from the fruit of the plant you please see class i am writing here ginning spinning and weaving and after that i am finding the co cotton fabric so the first process is ginning what is ginning when we are just removing the seeds from the fabric through the combing through the combing we are removing this one this is termed as ginning and after ginning the spinning process is there spinning means we are just keeping something in the rotating form and we are making something special that spinning is what when we are making the yarn through the fiber that is termed as spinning and after that when the yarn is going to be weaven into some special fabric then we are getting the cotton fabric cotton fabric we have done this characteristic that is soft and smooth so we have done ginning spinning and weaving now the next one i am coming to the jute fiber what is the procedure to get the jute jute fiber we get from the stem of the jute plant we immerse the jute stem into water for few days and after rotting we take it out and we can just remove the fiber of the jute this is the procedure rainy season is very good season for the jute fiber cultivation and the states in our india where the jute cultivation occur that is west bengal assam and bihar and the main is west bengal main state is west bengal so we have done about the cultivation which places is required which type of environment is required how we are getting the cotton fiber how we are getting the jute fiber now the next from the animals silk fiber silk fiber from the cocoon this is the stage of the silk moth cycle fine 
so we are getting the silk fiber fabric that is soft and lustrous means shiny we have discussed about that wool fiber hair of sheep goat and camel that is giving us the wool in clothes fine the special process which is taking part in it that is not in our class you will study these process in your 7th class now the synthetic fiber from the chemicals we are getting this one and these are the examples i am repeating again class nylon polyester and acrylic these are the strong now again from the starting i am just completing the lesson from the conclusion from the starting in starting i told you that from the fiber we are getting the yarn from the yarn we are getting the fabric and from the fabric we are getting the cloth i told you that time but now you please see class i am writing here spinning weaving knitting cutting and stitching these are the terms which we are using to complete this whole process in the first process spinning before spinning we were doing the ginning and in the ginning i told you that we are just removing the seeds from the fiber through the combing so ginning is not there through the fiber we are getting the yarn it means when fiber thin fiber jointed together to make the yarn the process is termed as spinning listen again when the fiber is joining together and make a yarn the process is termed as spinning now the next one now the yarn we are doing the weaving weaving has done on some looms these are the tools these are handmade and power made handmade when the people are doing have you heard about the chakri and that takli through mahatma gandhi actually mahatma gandhi forced the people they gave the people knowledge about the things which we should use at our home we should use the things from our country from our local people they are doing the work that's why the people they wove that time the things but this time people are not weaving like this so weaving is a technique through the looms we have done this one looms are of two types just now i told you that is handmade and power made next is after the handmade and power operated weaving knitting is there in which one single yarn through the two looms you know very well about this one that your mother and at home the ladies they weave they knit the sweater knitting sweater and all all the woolen clothes uh, prepared by the knitting it means in the knitting we use the single yarn and in weaving we use the two tools to complete the process fabric from the fabric we are getting the cloth after cutting and proper stitching now we are getting the clothes so this is the whole lesson fiber to fabric yes class we have completed the whole process i told you about from fiber to yarn is spinning from yarn to fabric when is there weaving and knitting and from the fabric to the cloth we are getting through the cutting and stitching i can show you through a very small activity which you can do at home easily you can get a jute fiber you can see that how many rotations or the twisted form is there in the root fiber when i am just opening this one you please see this one now i can remove one by one you see please class 1 2 3 4 and in this way when i am just removing the one portion so many small fibers are there you please see here see you all are able to see in this one how many small and thin threads like structures are there so you please see this is fiber these all are this is a single fiber if you all are able to see in this one i think so this is not able to see but i am just showing you single fiber this is making a yarn and this is making a fabric but this is not the fabric class this is jute simply so you can see the small or the thin parts of this one like this you can see at you can see the clothes also these all are made up of the thin very small structures those are termed as yarns